If he doesn't, then nobody else can. Stepping outside Tihar for a moment, you come from the state of Punjab, you studied in universities there. What do you make of the manner in which there have been multiple high-profile violent killings across Punjab since the Aam Aadmi Party came to power? Uh, are these, according to you, isolated instances, which is what the central agencies seem to think? Or do you think it could be part of a larger diabolical plot to ensure that this border state is up in flames again? Look, we need a daily homework on crime prevention. We need a daily focus on, on tracking the criminals on record. We need a daily intensive team effort on a regular basis and use whatever we, law we have to prevent these people from being free. And those on bail has to be have to be kept on check. Maybe come and record every third day in a police station. Come and record him. I think the courts can order. Why should we let them be free when we know he's a gangster? So first of all, gangsters on bail cannot be set free like that. They have to become conditional bails where they come and report attendance with sureties, with sureties. And if they jump, sureties must pay the price for it. So thereafter, there's a hunt. There should be lookout notices. Some of them are absconders. Some of them are proclaimed offenders. So I think the, the crime prevention has taken a backseat and reactive police, every time you have a new STF, every time, I don't, why don't you have an STF on crime prevention? Why don't we have proper STFs? well well with criminal intelligence searching and hunting where are these people no where so are policing they? is one part of it but there's a new uh, state government in charge also a government very different from the akali congress governments that preceded them do you think this is also taking the new chief minister time to uh, come to grips because for example a lot of the decisions about reducing security of people like musawala was taken at a political level the consequences of which are then having to be answered by the state police but actually it was a political decision do you think the inexperience of bhagwant man is also coming through in some of these decisions ma'am i think that that making it public that who so and so is making security is reduced making it public was was disastrous you don't do that and number two, the DGP has an independent role. He could have stepped in and said, no, I cannot allow it. <clears throat> so whoever did it, who did not stop it, and who decided to do it uh, uh, squarely is responsible. Who tweeted it, who made it public, and who let it happen. Both are equally responsible. One, for the initiative. Secondly, for not preventing. I think they both are responsible. There's a big debate at this moment, cutting across generations over whether some of the songs and the manner in which they're picturized, guns, gangsters, bullets, whether this is part of the reason why youngsters in Punjab are taking to the gun culture. The youngsters say you can't blame the song if somebody picked up a gun. The older generation of stars seem to think that these younger stars are in conscious, subconscious ways encouraging the younger generation by glorifying this gun culture. Where do you come out on this? I think so. I think we are totally polluting our culture. Whereas Punjab is full of very good, very, very good music. I think if we, we have made it in making it very, very, uh, I think, po uh, polluting and poisonous and violent. And I think we are too very loud on it, very loud on it. Whereas there was rhythm in the Punjab music. There was a Bhangra, there is a drum, but there is a rhythm in that, but not the kind of boisterous uh, violence in it. I think we need to. Well, the point is, if people are relishing it and dancing to it, you can't help it. But the question is, you have to help it. I think the people had to rethink what are they enjoying more. Do they want peace or do they want to be killed at, at gunshots like these? And it can be anybody's turn. It can be anybody's turn. Anybody getting the limelight and has the capacity to pay can be on ransom. No, but I was listening to some of Musewala's music last night. It is bloody, it's gory. There's aggression, there's frustration in his lyrics, but a lot of the youngsters seem to like him. He's off the charts, whether it's in Canada, the UK or Punjab, young people seem to be lapping up his music. Maybe you're making new taste buds come and now they're settled. So you've, you've raised some important points in terms of how some of this music could potentially push youngsters in that direction. You've also spoken of how the hard jail should be reformed, get the right officers, use the right technology, ensure that they have the right intent because without that, criminals and gangsters will find some loophole they can exploit. Dr. Kiran Bedi uh, for joining us on the news track. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.